creating a positive and empowering environment for students at school. That's the goal of an initiative led by one community organization in Peoria. I share the story in this special report. This is a special Bitten. report from WMBD News. It's an important space because it's not just a bathroom. And for a high school student, it might be like their escape from classes and adults. And it's where you might come and just like kick it for a second. So take something positive away while you're in this space. The walls of the girls bathroom at Manual High School now filled with words of inspiration. For students, it's uplifting. It's like different to see a change inside of the bathroom and it makes me feel, you know, like a little happier every time I go in, you know, because of all the colors, the colors and stuff like that. And I just feel inspired. The project is called Mind Over Matter 2. It's an initiative organized by the Yanni Collective along with other community partners. Peoria Public Schools Board of Education member Gregory Wilson is a member of the Yanni Collective. It's very inspirational for our students. Um, starting Mind Over Matter with the first one where we were able to give a thousand books to the Juvenile Detention Center um, and fill those books with quotes from our community leaders. Uh, now taking that concept um, and putting that into the restrooms uh, at all of our high schools um, is going to be a phenomenal feat. The need for the Mind Over Matter 2 initiative is supported by data and statistics. Organizers say, according to the Illinois Youth Survey in 2020, conducted by the Illinois Department of Human Services, 30% of Illinois high school students reported feeling sad or hopeless almost every day for two or more weeks in a row. Mind Over Matter 2 is taking a proactive step in addressing the needs of students in a creative way. I feel like it's more motivation to keep going. The quotes on the back of the doors, they really inspire you for different type of things. They got different things on every door, and they, they also got things all on the walls. The initiative received more than 60 quotes from people around the community, including Peoria Mayor Dr. Rita Ali and District 150 Superintendent Dr. Sharon desmoulin Karat. Students can also find quotes from Antoine Banks, founder and president of Product of the Project. So now seeing these positive quotes, seeing the beautiful pictures, the colors, that helps with the psyche, that helps with some of the things that they may experience, it may give them a positive experience. That's the whole goal, is a positive experience to empower our youth. As well as Mark Supreme, Diggum founder and member of the Yanni Collective. There's different quotes throughout here where like a student won't see everything the same day or even the same week. So hopefully, a student will see a quote that they need in that particular moment in time, and then that can carry them through the day as well, too. Artist Everly Davis, Sadie Helmick, and Tisa Irby turned the once blank walls into their canvas. This is a really good project, writing these quotes and these pictures for the students to see. And I also was a manual student, so um, I'm proud of Emmanuel. We also made sure that the space was bilingual because we wanted to keep in mind the Spanish-speaking audience that's here. Um, so we wanted to think about everybody. So hopefully they feel like somebody cared about them. In Peoria, Kyrian Lee, WMBD News. Artists are expected to begin working on the boys' bathroom at Manual during winter break. The Yanni Collective is partnering with Peoria Art Guild, Peoria Guild of Black Artists, Product of the Project, NAACP Peoria Branch, Born Paint, The Uncommon Life, Art Inc., and 4th District Councilman Andre Allen.